Hello everyone, this is Hunter Clark here with a little talk about the new HasLab soap. Um, they said that something big was coming, they've been teasing it. Uh, so they had a live stream um, for Fan First Friday. And um, so earlier in the morning, they posted a picture of Mr. Fantastic stepping on a foot, which is uh, Galactus's foot, and then um, when the uh, Times, uh, New York Times Magazine or something like that posted a picture of the Galactus, um, his silhouette, and um, so in the live stream they unveiled uh, Galactus and gave us a first look of it, and it's a HasLab, so it has uh, 70 plus joints of articulation, but when the, uh, they said it's about like 75 points of articulation, uh, 20 uh, points of articulation in each hand apparently. So that's pretty nuts. Uh, he has LED lights in the center and then like near the shoulders area. And then also there's a piece in the back. Um, and then it, there's like a switch for that. And then there's also a switch for the head where his uh, head, there's like three orbs on his head that light up. And then also like a few other, like two others on the other sides. And then there's like these little vents on his like ear piece, uh, face plates. So it's like mainly in the mouth. So there's like a skull piece. There's a piece where he's chill. And then there's like the pissed off face with, with him grunting. He's 32 inches tall, whereas uh, the Sentinel um, is 26 inches tall. So it's about mm, maybe a third more taller than the Sentinel. I did buy the Sentinel, so that should be coming in this fall. And there is a pattern going on with Hasbro on how they're doing the HasLabs for Marvel Legends. Uh, it's like every year they'll do a HasLab for Marvel. Um, so like last year it was Sentinel and that's like almost a year away um, where they showed, this, um, where now they showed Glass. Um, so Galactus looks really good. I am excited for that. Um, so he is, uh, they need 14,000 backers in order to uh, successfully uh, put out the figures. Um, and uh, it is about $400, but exact price is uh, $399.99, so 400 bucks. Um, so yeah, and then um, Dwight mentioned that if we get over that amount, um, we get, uh, there's a bunch of other uh, accessories that they add in. Um, I know um, last year's Sentinel, they needed 6,000 backers, so they need over twice as much than they do, did for that um, this year for Galactus. Um, and the Sentinel came with two other figures. Um, so for the Sentinel, we got to, I think, 15,000 backers. So twice, over twice as much as we did uh, need for uh, the Sentinel. So we might be able to get to that for Galactus. I think right now we're at 7,000 backers at the moment um, from last seeing it. And um, I know I'm going to get it. <laughs> Um, if I can, uh, I mean, hopefully we get enough backers. It goes, it started on Friday, uh, the 16th, and then the backing or the event ends on August 30th. So we have over a month to, to be able to back it. So I am definitely going to. Um, and then, um, yeah, I, I think that will be a special piece. It's like a once a lifetime type of thing. I do have the Galactus from the Toy Biz uh, era, um, and that came with like Hulk and the Gray Hulk, Green Hulk, Professor X, and a few others, Bullseye, and yeah. Um, and then apparently, and then the Galactus is like over 300 pieces. Um, I yeah, like I said, I am definitely going to buy it um, or back it 
first and then hopefully we get over the amount that we need. I'm sure we will get over the amount we need by the end of the event. Um, at least I think maybe two tiers at least I think we'll be able to get to within the, over a month um, because it's been a little over 24 hours and we're already um, halfway there basically a little over halfway there I think um, so yeah by I want to say like a week we'll be done uh, with being able to get to that backing point and then um, yeah so uh, I will definitely be getting it uh, I'm guessing it won't come until fall next year so like the pattern like I said they're gonna come out with new uh, new has labs every year and then they'll ship out like every fall um, and yeah I I think it'll be awesome you can have him holding a bunch of figures you can do some I think insane stop motion if you can I know I will when I do review on him um, once I move I'm going to uh, have this awesome uh, display going up like I like you can see I have all these Funkos up here um, and then I'm not gonna use those shelves that I have in my room now I'm gonna get this shelf that goes around the corner and then also I'm gonna have like this little area where I can actually set up and do this cool stuff with my figures uh, like make a diorama or something like that so yeah I think Galactus and the Sentinel will be a cool part of adding into it um, and I would say is he worth getting um I would I mean by the time you get it I'm pretty sure it will be uh, worth getting um, if you're into collecting Marvel Legends like I am yes you should get it because right now with the Sentinel um, I think that was about 300 or maybe it's the same price as Galactus I'm not quite sure I think it's about I think it was 300 um, and uh, people who got it and backed it, uh, they're putting them up for sale for like $15,000 right now, which is kind of nuts. I know I'm not doing that. Um, not until I'm like, I'm done with the figure. I don't want it, I need to get it out. And if I, I am desperate for money, I will sell it. But um, yes, if you get the Galactus, I think you'll it'll be worth it. And apparently, they also said like they improved upon the Sentinel, so there's a few other tweaks that they added into Galactus that basically makes this makes it better than the Sentinel. Besides the fact that it's bigger and taller, uh, they added I think more improved joints and all that good stuff, and then they fixed the skirt piece. Whereas the other Galactus figures from Toy Biz, those you couldn't really move the legs, but for the uh, for the actual figure, uh, the new one for the HasLab, uh, that fixed the skirt up into like four different pieces so that way you can move the legs for them. Um, so yeah, I, if you're into it, like Marvel Legends stuff like I am, I recommend you get them before you're not able to. Um, like save up as much as you can, I guess. I work 40 hours a week, I get paid every two weeks. So after my next paycheck, I will definitely back it. And um, after that, I kinda gotta chill out with my money because I'm doing one more semester here and then I'm gonna move out for spring semester. So that way I can get a house with me, with some buddies and I, um, and then get a cool setup. And then hopefully I uh, can make money off of like maybe YouTube, Twitch, uh, and all that good stuff. So, yes, I recommend getting it. Uh, but besides that, thanks for watching.